July, grey sky, and we're not going to be getting the hay in anytime soon. That is one angry looking storm. probably see behind me some dark clouds and we have had rain on and off this afternoon for quite a few hours. And today is the 4th of July. We're really anticipating haymaking so we're looking now for a gap in the weather. Um, not sure whether there's going to be one any time but this rain will do good for the fields um, that, that's being grazed at the moment. Kind of angry looking clouds. Look. So today is the day we're going to put these two back out in the field. Uh, this is the ewe that was really really bad with fly strike. Um, so she's just got that kind of wound on the side and we're gonna put some Stockholm tar on it um, and get them back out. I'm pretty sure that they're ready to go out. They're growing well, both of them. Um, so yeah, it's time to go out, babies. So she's got the Stockholm tar on any sort of woundish areas. Um, and she's just she's gonna have a spray with the Crovec just to be on the shore side. But yeah, this stuff, the black stuff, it smells really bad. Apparently it puts off flies and it's also antiseptic. Um, it's a bit of a farmer's friend. He's skipping about. These three lambs have been brought inside because they're not doing so well. Two of them are cade lambs and one just wasn't getting any milk, so they're on the creep. Good morning. So it is Thursday the 6th of July today and it's a much nicer, brighter morning and a lot warmer. As you can see, I've got my vest on, it's half seven. Um, but I have just walked up the hill. Um, I'm just standing in the hay meadows and um, I don't think we've got a big enough gap in the weather right now to mow. Um, ideally, we want to get the hay made now that it's come to July, but we need a bit more than 2.5 days really, I think, to, to get the hay cut and baled. Um, so I think we're just going to have to wait and hope that the forecast maybe changes um, because it doesn't look like there's much dry uh, clear spells in July at all obviously all the dry weather came together in May and June um, so so now we're just waiting playing the waiting game so you can see that the grass has recovered in here got some pretty pretty nice grass crumb it hasn't come very fast but it's definitely freshened, so that's positive because the sheep and the cattle are probably going to have to move back over this side soon. It's definitely a big relief to be able to have some grass, um, as it was definitely getting a bit thin on the ground. Um, but the rain and the cool weather has definitely helped things out, so I'm feeling less worried about that situation, which is good. And then from worrying about the lack of rain to now worrying that it's going to rain too much. I'm doing some poo sampling this morning. So I'm taking samples of lamb and sheep poo and taking it down to the vets and it's to do an egg count. As the sheep are getting ready to move on, it'll just be good to know whether to worm and what wormers to use. So that is 
the practice that I have adopted the last couple of years. So it does literally involve following them along, looking for them to poo, and ideally looking for a representative sample. Just like that, and then put it in a bag to take it down. All the highlands have carved now for this year, so finished carving at the start of July. We've got five highland calves. We've ended up with three heifers and two bull calves, so quite happy with that. Um, and really lovely calves. So now we have to start thinking again about hiring another bull. Um, so I've put in some inquiries about that one. And for now, just enjoy the calves that we've got. So it is the 8th of July today and I'm just walking up to check on the cows up here. These are the clouds, the thunderstorms, the rain possibly that meant that we decided not to mow on Thursday. Um, there's, it's only half six now. We had a little bit of rain at six but only a little bit. Just didn't feel like there was enough of a gap in the weather to get the hay in. Um, it just hasn't really been a very subtle forecast, so I think we're just going to have to wait. Well, we are going to have to wait until we get more than really a sort of two day gap. The results of the faecal egg count came back a uh, thousand eggs per gram on the ewes and 200 on the lambs. So the advice was to worm the ewes, so that's what we're going to do. So it's a rather hot Saturday lunchtime, I think it's about half past 12 and we are just getting ready to worm the ewes um, so it's quite straightforward pen for the ewes lambs can go straight out and hopefully we'll get the job done and then what i'm most looking forward to is moving the sheep onto fresh grass sheep and lambs because um, they are ready have just got finished. It is raining, so I guess that's sort of a good thing. Uh, so back out for the rest of the day for them, and then uh, maybe Monday, maybe tomorrow we'll get them on fresh grass. And this is the following day. Uh, in the evening, we decided to make the most of a gap in the weather and move the sheep, but a storm was coming in. It's just starting to rain as I was filming. It was really windy and wild, but we got them in the yard and then safely into the field onto some fresh grass on Sunday night. <laughs> It's Monday the 10th of July today and it's an absolutely stunning morning. The sheep moved on to fresh grass yesterday evening, Sunday evening. So they've just had their first night out on the, the new grass. It's lovely grass, really nice. Um, 
so they've been off her for three weeks so it has it did have a it will have been slowed down by the lack of rain but there's some good good grass here now for them so uh, just having a check round and enjoying this lovely morning and you can see the mist on the hills over there the, the mist in the valley sorry sort of laying in the low ground but yeah it's great it's lovely we just need just need to try and get those hay meadows cut hopefully in not too distant future hi gang why what's happening uh. hello right so this is my little group of poor doers they've been treated for coccidiosis which is a nasty little parasite <laughs> And I'm hoping that now that they've been treated for this nasty little parasite that they'll start to pick up. So I'm just going to give them their food and bed, bed them down. Um, you might be able to hear the rain outside. It is an absolutely horrendous day of rain in July, July the 14th. And it's been raining all day and it's horrible and it's just... The weather has like turned and just it feels like it's just set in now um constantly showery and unsettled and um not really like summer not that we not that we want this weather now we need the dry weather so we can get the hay in <laughs> so nothing we can do other than just wait We're halfway through the month and it doesn't look like we're going to be haymaking anytime soon. So I just found Mary in the field, Mary my old sheep who's passed away. Um, and so I'm just, yeah, I just feel a bit sad and a bit emotional. Um, because she's been on the farm for a long time, 13. 13 years um, and she just seemed to be doing so well I thought maybe she would live longer but that's just how it goes rest in peace Mary So that is going to be the end of this video um, on this very rainy day in July when we're hoping for something a bit better now and uh, hopefully I'll bring you another update soon. Bye!